sometimes planning itself can turn into such a long process. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can automate certain repetitive tasks in your Trello planner by using a butler. My name is Anna and I make videos about digital planning and time management. Now let's just get right into it. So in Trello, on the top right, we have the butler button here. Butler is this option that Trello has for commands and automations. It's great for saving time, not having to do actions that are very repetitive. On the left side, there are all the options. Now I will show you how to set rules that are great for your Trello planner. The first one is copying new morning or night routines in bulk because if you're like me and you have a list for each weekday that includes morning and night routine templates or you've seen my video where i show you how to create a trello planner you probably noticed that the individual copying and pasting gets very tedious we are going to create a button that will appear in each card that once clicked will copy the template card on the weekday lists all at once which makes things much easier so go to card button click the green create command i'd name this button instant copy but you can name it whatever you'd like you can also pick an icon for it and you can also choose whether or not to have the card closed as soon as you click on this button in the card click to add section here now the command will be as follows copy the card to the bottom of the list monday now the same command but pick tuesday instead add that as well we are going to repeat this trigger for every weekday list and it should look like this now and i will show you how it works so go to the card you want to copy on all the weekday lists mine will be this morning routine template here you click the button here and voila and on to the next one so at the end of the week my done list gets incredibly full so an automatic command to archive done tasks at the end of the week is a convenient one go to calendar create command and the command will be as follows every sunday at 11 55 pm archive all cards in the list done and there you go this action will take place at exactly the time you set it as it's so great waking up on a Monday with an empty done list. Now, moving on, I'm going to show you how to move tasks from the list next month to the list this month. This saves time because you don't have to manually move each card from next month list to this month list, especially when you have a lot of tasks there. So go to calendar, new command. And the command will be as follows. Every month on the last day at 10 a.m., move all the cards from list next month to list this month. And there it is. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of cards in this list. So this automation really comes in handy. Next is automatically moving cards from weekday lists to the done list and we will be using the rules option for this one. The first way is when you have a card with a checklist, so the command is as follows. When a checklist is completed in a card, move the card to the top of the list, done. Next is for when you have a due date in the card and that is checked off. The command is as follows. When the due date is marked as complete in a card, move the card to the top of the list, done. And the last one is 
when you have a custom fields power up and you've set a checkbox on all the cards called status for example now if you have the custom fields power up then you don't really need to have the checklist command or the due date command because it will all have the status checkbox uh, custom fields anyways so it makes things easier like that so the command will be as follows when custom field status is checked move the card to the top of the list done perfect now i'll show you how each one works so we have three cards on this list. One has a checklist, the second one has a due date, and the third one has a checkbox custom field called status. The done list is right next to them, so it's easier for you to see how this works. Now let's check everything off and see what happens. All right, now I'm enabling the custom fields command. And now they're all in the done list. I used to manually drag and drop completed tasks in the done list, but now it's not needed because it's all automatic. Now those are all of the automations I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if this video was helpful or if there are any other tasks you would like me to find an automation for. I personally love creating these automations, I think it's really cool. Give this video a like and subscribe for more content about digital planning and all that. And I will see you next time. Ciao!